We're in Outlook 2013. I'm going to show you how to change the autocorrect options in Outlook when you go to compose an email. So let's go ahead and click on the file menu in the upper left hand corner and then scroll down to where it says options. Now once options are open, go all the way to the top. The second one from the top is called mail. Click on that, click on that. And then on the way to the right here, you have editor options. So click on that. All right, now we're getting to where we want to be. So under proofing, we have autocorrect options. So you've got some autocorrect options here, such as ignoring words in uppercase, ignoring words that contain numbers, as far as whether or not you want to correct those or not. Let's click on the autocorrect options button itself. So autocorrect, you have the show autocorrect option buttons. We want that turned on. Uh, correct the two initial capital letters, such as T, W, and capital and O. It'll go ahead and make the W lowercase. Capitalize the first letter of sentences. It'll, by default, that's checked, so it will automatically capitalize uh, the first letter of a sentence. That may be irritating to you if you're writing certain types of documents. So you may want to turn that off. Uh, capitalize first letter, letter of table cell. So if you insert a, a table, then uh, you can capitalize that as well. Capitalize names of days. By default, always a good idea. Correct accidental usage of caps lock key. So if you can see here, if you, for, if you leave your caps lock key on when you go to type, the first letter is going to be small and all the other letters are going to be large. So if you have this checked, then it'll automatically correct that for you. Uh, you can also do replace text as you type. So if you uh, want to put in uh, T-E-H, then it will automatically type the word the. So it'll fix that for you. And if you want, you can have it say something else. So uh, we'll say uh, if I type in circus incorrectly, I can say make it look like that. And I'll go ahead and click Add. And now that's added to our list of autocorrect options. So you can see it comes with a lot of preset autocorrect words. Uh, but so if you misspell the same word over and over, this may be a good way to keep that from accidentally happening. You also have automatically used suggestions uh, from the spelling checker. And by default, that's checked. That's, this is the spelling checker here. And uh, this is part of it anyway. And you can go ahead and leave that checked. If you uncheck it, then of course you'll lose that capability. So those are the different autocorrect options for uh, typing words in Outlook 2013. We'll also look later on at some of the math and other uh, format options.